America? Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we are discussing the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment states, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. The right to keep and bear arms had been enshrined in English law since 1689. When the founders created our Bill of Rights, they wanted to guarantee these rights to Americans as well. They viewed self-defense as an inalienable right and felt an armed populace, especially formed in a militia, was a guard against oppression by the government. Thomas Jefferson wrote, No free man shall ever be debarred the use of arms. And Samuel Adams stated the Constitution should never be interpreted to prevent the people from keeping their own arms. Anti-Federalists, who were worried about oppression from within, clearly saw the right to keep and bear arms as extending to all citizens for their own personal use. In three decisions since 2008, the Supreme Court has affirmed that the Second Amendment guarantees, with some limitations, individuals the right to keep and bear arms for self-defense in their home and not only in conjunction with a militia. So why should the Second Amendment matter to us today? The Founders felt nothing was a more natural right than securing oneself from harm, whether that danger be a physical assault or oppression from the government. They recognized the right to keep and bear arms as fundamental to ensuring that security, and they made certain to guarantee it to all of us. Until next time, may your love of country lead you. Thank you.